So the other day I watched Dr. Doolittle Million Dollar Mutts, and I thought that it was the second one of the Dr. Doolittle movie, but I think it actually is the fourth, because um, Dr. Doolittle 2 is actually called Dr. Doolittle 2, and there's another one, um, but this one is called Million Dollar Mutts, so I figured it would have more to do with dogs, so I watched it, um, totally expecting it to be terrible, but it wasn't that bad. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I would give it a, for sure, the eh rating, for sure, in the middle somewhere. There was a couple points where I actually laughed, and I was surprised. Um, it's based, uh, Eddie Murphy's not in it at all. They say he's in Africa or something, taking care of elephants, I think. But his daughter is going, wants to go away to school to become a veterinarian. But some famous lady sees her and wants to take her to Hollywood to do, um, I think Hollywood, or New York, New York, to um, be on a TV show where she talks to animals and stuff. Because she can talk to animals too. Um, and then she has to try to figure out if she wants to go to school or stay there and be on the TV show. Um, there were some really funny parts. Uh she meets all these celebrities there's this rapper that has a, a, a bunny that doesn't like rap music and is pretty funny <laughs> it's on netflix too i'd watch this one if you if you like the first one at all i don't really remember the first one too much i haven't seen the second or third so um i'd recommend watching this you know unless you really just can't stand it's a little better than mediocre so if you really like, you know, light, it's kind of family kiddish, you know, if you like lighthearted stuff, you might like this one, I thought it was pretty good, I mean, I wouldn't say it was great at all, but it's worth checking out if it sounds any amount of appealing to you at all, so, I wouldn't pay money to see it though, <laughs> uh, next time, y'all, biscuit heads, peace out!